Well, he is a stupid price, but he does look wonderfully well. Silver Patriarch is a stupid price. Vertical Speed looks wonderfully well. And after careful study, Alistair made him the eye catcher. So he looked the best of the field in terms of well-being. On the way down, it was Besiege. In the betting ring, it's definitely Silver Patriarch and Book at Bedtime. Negative vertical speed and Besiege. Can the Grey do it? Can he give Pat Eddery his 4,000th winner in, the, in Great Britain? Pat, who was born in the same year as John Frankham and John Joe O'Neill. It was certainly a vintage year for riders that year. Yeah, it's interesting, though, Silver Patriot really is sort of second best in the pick of the paddock stakes, but both Barry Hills and Mick Channon there making the point that this is a horse who always looks a bit vulnerable. Do you want 11 to 10 about one they think is crackable? Last look at the betting and the Yorkshire Brass has come for Silver Patriarch. 11 to 10 from 6 to 4, 7 to 2 vertical speed on 10 to 1 Besiege, Windsor Castle, The Flyer and Panama City. 14's Book at Bedtime, 16's Haltara, Poseidon, 25's and Shea, the 33 to 1 outside. Well, the punters have made up their mind, the hot favourite, the main rival on the drift. Tremendous sense of anticipation as the last few Windsor Castle and Book at Bedtime still to load. GG to call the final classic of the season. It's a pretense from Ledger. And uh, this really Book at Bedtime one here at Doncaster over the true St. Ledger course and distance just a few days ago. The one that's been well supported in the yellow jacket. Good size of Book at Bedtime. One more to load, that's Windsor Castle. Probably one of the pacemakers here. This blinkered run up. Kick away then, and share a little bit slow to strive. Where is the early pace? And it's vertical speed and Windsor Castle, book of bedtime, the rail. And then Besiege holding a position, Panama City, a length back to Silver Patriarch. Francara's, uh, Hautara's running very wide under Frankie de Tori and detached uh, and running a remote course there. The back marker at this very early stage is the fly held up but we knew that he was going to be now Olivier Pellier on vertical speed going up to join Howard Tara who's the one that's racing very very wide to trying to find the better ground book of bedtime runs the rail pink cap besieged Panama City Windsor Castle Silver Patriot the grey Poseidon share and the back marker is the fly as they race for the first half mile in the Potemps and Ledger and when they turn into the home straight they'll be in the teeth of a gale but they're shouldering behind Hautara at this stage. Vertical speed, does he have horizontal stamina in second? Then we've got Book of Bedtime going third. Silver Patriot, the five to four favorite, is tucked away midfield as they go over Rose Hill. And it looks a very conservative pace here. The, the, a kick finish suit Silver Patriot. Would it suit the fly at the back of the pack? Poseidon held up. Book of Bedtime, Michael Roberts, the yellow jacket runs the rail behind Windsor Castle, but they're still all playing Frankie's tune. He's the piper here on Haltara leading by length. To vertical speed in second, Windsor Castle in third, Silver Patriarch wide of Besiege, Book of Bedtime, the rail. Shea is wide of Panama City, the fly and Poseidon at the back of the pack. Past the halfway stage and uh, just beginning to increase the tempo, Frankie on Haltara, his surprise ride in the race. That's the mile start uh, they're just passing there on the round course. And it's Haltara leading to vertical speed, Windsor Castle, Besiege pulling wide. Then we've got Book of Bedtime, the favourite, uh, Pat Ellery, going for his 4,000th British base winner in the black cap. And is he just starting to niggle on this uh, red-hot favourite? Windsor Castle making a bit of ground, Shea is getting closer. Panama City is going to be played late. They're inside the final three quarters of a mile. In fact, they're coming to the top of the home run now. And it's Haltara with Windsor Castle on the outside, then vertical speed and Besiege. Pat Eddery on Silver Patriarch, ridden along but pulling wide to get a run and look at Shea with Panama City, the fly going to be played late, Book of Bedtime isn't out of it either, plenty in with chances, the roar goes up from the crowd, Haltara the rail, Windsor Castle, the light blue cap is vertical speed, the grey horse is Silver Patriarch sticking his head out, Shea, here comes the fly very wide on the course as they come down to the two furlong marker in the Potemps and Ledger and it's the favourite Silver Patriarch of the French Raider, vertical speed who now duel, the fly is out wide running in his third consecutive classic, Windsor Castle behind these, down towards the final furlong, and it's Silver Patriarch stretching well, but vertical speed is pestering.
Wigan. Here comes the fly on the outside, but with 150 yards to go. It's Silver Patriot and Henry coming home on his 4,000th winner in Britain at the line. Silver Patriot, the favourite, wins the Potemps and Ledger vertical speed in second. Then the fly is third, tied for four book of bedtime, and wins a castle one for the judge, clear of Panama City and Shea, and then Poseidon. Then we have uh, Besiege and Haltara were the last two to pass the post, and so the result then of an eventful St. Ledger. And once again, the Potemps St. Ledger has a big story written round it because the winner, number six, Silver Patriarch, in the colours of Mr. Peter Winfield. This one trained at uh, Arundel by John Dunlop. The Derby form is starting to pull together, but most importantly, it's Pat Henry's 13th ride in the race, but his 4,000th winner in Britain. Second horse home, the French Raider vertical speed, so there were every justification for supplementing that horse. Uh, the third horse home is number eight, the fly. Good each way support for that one, vindicated as well. There are the principles, one, two, three, in the Potemps and Ledger. Most importantly, the favourite, Silver Patriarch, the winner. Ledger, 4,000th British winner. Congratulations from the whole racing public. Thank you very much. Well, that's just quite a, quite a smile. <laughs> he really deserved this today. Oh, yeah. He's only got Peter Shaw in at Derby. And he just got touched off at York. Today he was in good form. It was a real battle, though. He had the battle, but I knew he'd stay well. He picked up and really, the last burn, he quick and great. Now, for you, you've been around, you don't mind me saying, a long time, quite a while. Is this one of those really good days? Oh, to win a classic, any time to win a classic is a great day. <laughs> and you're now Lester Piggott, Sir Gordon Richards and Pat Hedry, a pretty exclusive club. Yep, delighted. <laughs> <laughs> really, really well done. Thank you very much. Well, a fabulous moment. Pat is not one who courts the media and he's quite chatty to Leslie there. He doesn't do appear on Question of Sport, things like that. He just likes to get on with his job. He's affable. He's very, very well respected by all his professionals. Alistair, he's known as the rice cake in France because if you say Pat Edery quickly, it's Pat Edery. But uh, he's anything but a joker, this guy. Uh, absolute, a marvellous moment, this. The crowd really cool. Listen to the reception he's getting as he comes back from this hot favourite. Absolutely inside of it in the derby. They really went from the punters this afternoon. Roared him up the straight. And a terrific Yorkshire reception as he comes back. Having won the ledger and extraordinary, the 4,000th winner for Pat Henry. And it was one in style, and let's not forget his owner, Peter Winfield. A dream nearly came true in the derby. scenes, the mass ranks of the stands, applauding the winning ledger favourite. And so often Alistair the ledger has provided wonderful stats day for champions. Steve Cawthon run his thousandth winner here, Frankie Dettori's thousandth winner was on, on in ledger, Pat Edery 4,000, and of course all those years ago Lester Piggott wrote the classic winning record on Comanche Run. Absolutely. Good old Don. And this horse he really, people have been saying, Barry Hills and Mick Channel beforehand, that he always looked vulnerable. He didn't look vulnerable today. He's a horse who does his racing off the bit. He makes you work for it a bit, but he is tough and very genuine. And as Pat said, when he asked him to go, he